Welcome to the stream. What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a great day so far. It's another late stream for me. Got the kids in bed and uh, going to be working on building some more brands. So tonight, uh, we're going to be working on the Classic Wakeboard Company, which I realized after I did it, uh, I think I need to change the name on this thing. So here's the deal. I really like... Okay, if, if, it, was, if it was these other versions that we did yesterday... Get my levels right over here. Uh, if it was these other, if it was these other looks, number two, number three, number four, they all work good for a wakeboard company. But look at this. That's not a wakeboard. That's a surfboard. We got to fix that. So I think this is going to be the one I want to work with. Uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be dabbling in all kinds of stuff. We're going to jump around in Illustrator and in Photoshop. I'm going to jump into Fresco on the iPad and Illustrator on the iPad and just kind of have some fun. So I'm not as comfortable yet on an iPad in Illustrator. And a lot of that is because I really miss my keyboard shortcuts. So uh, when, I'm, when I'm designing, my hands basically live on this keyboard down here, all the, all the shortcut keys. So, um, and I know I could sync it up to my iPad with the Bluetooth and I've tried that and it was better. Uh, but when I travel and I just have the iPad, it's been a lot of fun getting to draw on it. So I'm trying to get more comfortable with my logo workflow and building a brand. So what I want to do tonight is maybe work on this logo a little bit. I want to maybe bring this in. We played with some apparel yesterday. If you guys missed the stream, check it out. It's live now, but we kind of played with this guy. I didn't have a sketch over the top. I was just kind of playing around. Um, thank you. Um, oh, that's inspiring. My wife just brought me a drink. I don't know if you can see it. Mountain beach it's perfect for a surf company what's that i can't hear you what the color palette is fun yeah pastels cool i don't know i gotta get it right in front of my face so it'll catch focus 
Uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. We could play with something like that. Bright and tart with pineapple, lime, and guava. This looks delicious. All right. So, uh, so we played with, uh, yesterday we played around with this apparel and, and just threw that graphic in here and had fun with it. Get my hands on the right spot here. All right, and then threw in this behind it, this bus graphic thing. So um, I'm not really sure where I want to start. I think I want to start designing, well, two things. Okay, I got to decide if it's going to stay the classic wakeboard company, which I'm kind of thinking it doesn't. Uh, I kind of think it turns into a paddleboard company because my wife and I love to paddleboard. We've got a couple paddleboards. We go paddleboarding all the time. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So I think we're going to turn this into a the classic paddleboard company or the classic surf company. Either way it could work. So I'm going to throw my iPad to the side here. So I got room to work on the desktop just to kind of knock this out real quick. And then let's see. Let's just see. Let's just see where this goes. You guys can say hello in the chat. You're awfully quiet tonight. Where are you watching from? Where are you tuning in from? What is your favorite Adobe software? Mine, I always tell my friends, if I get stuck on an island, I'm gonna bring Photoshop with me if I had to. Photoshop is my, my favorite go-to. Although tonight we're in Illustrator. Actually, we're all over the place, but right now we're in Illustrator. All right, so let's, um, let's just kind of see what we did yesterday, what we had going on. Also, I've got an application showing my keyboard shortcuts as I do things. And when I hit the space bar to get my hand tool, it just kind of strobes out like that. Is that annoying? Should I turn off the shortcuts? Because once I get going um, like that, command and space to zoom in or command space and option to zoom out. That way on the replay, if you guys actually want to see what I did, uh, you guys can check it out. Hello, fellow Montanan. Cordell, where are you tuning in from? I'm currently in the Flathead Valley near Glacier. Glacier National Park. All right. Uh, let's see. Whoops. So I'll have to say in the chat, yeah, let me know if these shortcuts are helpful or if they're just really annoying. Either way, I can turn them off. I might turn them off anyway. We'll see what, what happens. Los Angeles. <laughs> I heard you guys got some snow, actually. Is that true? Was it last week? You guys got like almost a foot of snow, I think. All right, um, let's see. Okay, so what I need to do to make this work again is I need to go all the way back to where I have this as an outline or as a font. Let's see, I don't wanna screw this up either. So I'm gonna save a copy. Command shift save. Sure enough, about six inches of snow. That is crazy. Uh, it actually, we got snow here on the mountains, but it, it came down almost to the valley's level as far as snow. It's been cold, really cold. And it rained the last like three days straight. All right, live streams. <clears throat> I'll throw this up here for my shortcuts. I'll throw it in here as an updated classic. We're gonna, okay, moment of truth. Classic Surf Co. Jenna? Are we, are we doing the classic surf co or are we going to do the paddle boarding? What do you think? What? It does have a better ring to it. That's my wife in the background. She might join us here in a bit. She's making cinnamon rolls. They smell amazing. Um, all right, we'll do classic surf co. We can do both. I don't know, but I'm just going to save it. So that way I have something to go back to in case I screw it up, which is possible. So Cordell, uh, are you, okay, so you're watching me on YouTube. So are you do, you, do you subscribe to my channel? Are you a graphic designer or what do you, what do you do for, I mean, I guess it could be for fun and for a living. I get to do both. Uh, this is my job and what I do when I'm not working. <laughs> it's all the same. All right, let's, let's get into this here. I'm going to, uh, let's see, I got to grab. And that, my friends, yesterday, as I was working, I leave copies of everything off on the sidebar. And this is the exact reason why if I ever change my mind or if a client changes my mind for me, I can always go back to it. So we're going to say surf. Awesome. Real job is sales. 
sub today. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Um, here for the learning. So I've got a lot more tutorials on my um, on my YouTube channel where you're, where, you're, where you're tuning in from. But also if you go to my website, you don't have to, but if you want to, um, I'm trying to get to pull, oh, there we go. Uh, DerekMitchell.com. And then up here, I've got some free tutorials. Check that out. Some fun stuff if you're interested in graphic design. Um, and then I have, uh, actually I just launched a brand new course on Skillshare yesterday morning. So I don't know if there's a link at the bottom, but there should be a link to Skillshare and you can get 14 days for free. Um, check that out. So you can check out the course that I just launched, but you could also use that link um, and check out lots of cool, stuff. everything from like how to produce music to uh, graphic design and everything in between. So anyway, yes. All right, so check it out if you want. You don't have to, but thanks. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna change this from the classic wakeboard company to the classic surfboard company, or it could be classic surf co. I'm gonna go, with, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do some things. Make a copy over here. I'm gonna command shift O to make outlines. I also have a few different styles of teaching. Sometimes I go real slow and like make sure you guys follow along exactly. And then sometimes I just kind of zone out and, and I just got like, I've got work to do. So I just kind of start going nuts. Uh, so let me know if you prefer to just kind of look over my shoulder and want me to shut up and you can just watch. Or if you enjoy the chatter and me telling you kind of what I'm doing as I do it. Um, when I was in, yeah, you bet Cordell. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, so when I was just getting started cutting my teeth as a graphic designer, as it were, uh, I learned the most from literally sitting right next to another designer, like awkwardly right behind him watching basically his every move. And, uh, but I learned a ton of literally just sitting there watching how he did things because the way that he approached a problem and how he, um, Jesse, Jesse Pierpoint is his name. Jesse, you're a stud. Thank you so much, uh, for everything way back in the day. Uh, anyway, so Jesse, he, he was so gracious. I, 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 you know, to just let me literally sit behind him and ask him dumb questions and bother him for the whole time. Uh, and it was, it was really an awesome experience getting to learn how to work with brands, getting to learn how to work with software and come up with ideas and just kind of see how he approached things. And I would say one of the number one reasons why I do what I do is because of Mr. Jesse Pierpoint and Tyler Lafferty, uh, two guys that made a huge impact on my career. So thank you guys. If somebody knows them, tell them I said, thanks. I can tell them I said, thanks myself, but anyway, all right. <clears throat> So now what I'm doing is just trying to get these letters to be about the same size and about the same place. So that way we don't spend a ton of time reinventing the wheel here. Cause that's not what this stream is about. Also the style of design that I'm kind of playing around with right now is I mentioned this in the other streams. It's heavily, heavily <laughs> quotes borrowed from David Carson. Uh, so I've been watching his masterclass and really, really enjoying it. And, and he, he's a huge fan of not using the grid and just like, I don't want, I don't want to disrespect it and say slapping stuff on the canvas, but that's what it feels like sometimes is you're just kind of like throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks, you know? So, that's something I'm kind of playing with right now and just kind of seeing what happens. Kind of nudging things around a little bit. I'm probably overanalyzing this, especially for what tonight's supposed to be. Definitely overanalyzing this. I got to stop. Okay, we're just gonna stop. We're just gonna call that good because that's not the point of tonight's stream. I wanna apply this to some things and have some fun. So I'm gonna save my work.
Also, if you're hanging out and you're enjoying this a little bit and you want to do more of this and hang out with me more, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, tap the bell for notifications. If you're on Behance, hit that follow button. And then I don't know if you can hit a notification bell or not, but uh, that's probably the best way to get notified the next time I go live. And uh, oh, my wife's hanging out in the back. Hi, wife. Hi, husband. Whoa. I got real loud. Sorry. No, it's not. It was fine yesterday. Say something. Something. <laughs> um, what you doing back there? Eating a cinnamon roll. Nice. Figure I'd have mine while it's hot before the kids this eat them all tomorrow. So good. I will offer you first bite. Uh, if you eat the middle out of it, I will kill you though. That's fair. That's fair. I'll do the very end. That's good stuff. Thank you. Yeah. All I right. slaved over it opening the can. I didn't even open the can. You opened the can. <laughs> <laughs> so we they had the can that you push on it and it like pops open. And it freaks her out. So I was kind of chasing around the house, um, pretending like it was going to pop open. All right, back to work. I'm going to turn your mic down, maybe off. Why don't you do that? Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, uh, let's grab this. I want to, I'm not sure whether I want to design. I want to design a surfboard. That's what I want to do. That's really what I came here for tonight. So we're going to make a new document because we're in here. Uh, I don't really care what size the document is because it's vector. I'm an illustrator. I'm just going to use this as an outline and then we're going to jump into maybe fresco or illustrate on the iPad or something else here. Uh, but what I do like to do is make the orientation on this be landscape. And the reason why is because our screens, you know, they're landscape. And so I can get more of my artwork to fit into that size. And I typically do it as an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper because if I do want to print it, it's just an easy size to work with. So uh, working with vector, if I change my mind, I can scale it up as big as I want. Are you talking to me back there? Why? Vector. Jeez. Vector. We have kids. We have five kids. You're wheezing back there. It's so funny. She's laughing about vector. So what, which movie is that from? Quickly in the chat. Who knows what movie that's from? Oh, you gave it away. Oh, I thought you were asking me. Well, I mean, it kind of was, but I was talking to my friend <laughs> to my friends on the chat. Also, your microphone is being weird. I gotta figure out why it's do that. Don't there. There we go. What's up from India? Thank you so much. I see you. Thanks for tuning in. Um. All right. <laughs> We're going to try and keep this broadcast. We're going to try and keep it on the tracks, but Sorry. clearly, especially with Jenna back there, it could go anywhere. Um, all right. Click create. And then we have a blank document. Now we got to make a surfboard. Now I could probably search for one, but I could also probably make one. So I'm going to take a stab at just making one real quick. Let's just see what happens. This could be fun. This could also get real bad, real fast. Let's see, surfboards are kind of, oh yeah, this is definitely gonna go south real fast. That's all right. We're learning, we're having fun. <laughs> it's more of a, okay, so let's see, let's. Now it looks like a coffin. Let's round these out a little bit. We're headed the right direction. You could just grab an image and trace it. I could just grab an image and trace it, Jenna, but where's the learning in that? One, two, three, four, five. Not everyone can draw. One, two, three, four, five. This is not drawing. This is, and I feel like the, the edges, and there's a new tool for that, the shape builder, and I haven't played with that one yet. Uh, I don't even know how to get there. Okay, something else I should point out, if you're new uh, to Illustrator, that is, up here under Window, I'm gonna come down to Workspace and I'm gonna go to Essentials Classic because that's what I'm used to. And then I'm gonna go back down there one more time and hit Reset just in case I've got some weird stuff going. There we go, yeah. So now that way, if you were to pick this up and jump right into Illustrator, in theory, you and I would be seeing the same thing. Uh, yeah, okay. So there's my attempt at a 
surfboard and it looks nothing like a surfboard. Let's keep playing with it. <laughs> she's don't she's laughing at me. No, it does look like though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh let's just let's just end this. Let's just go right over and search for a surfboard. If I can type S U R F board. One word, two words, I don't know. Okay, I wasn't that far off, but I knew I knew these needed to be more bent, curved, curvilinear. Okay, so we've got this style, this style, this style. I'm just holding down the command key and clicking. I could also just go to images. That'd probably be better. Scrolly, scrolly. It's gonna be fun. I like that. Oh, I love the texture of that, even though it's, yeah, whatever. Okay. All right. Let's see if we've got any good images to work with here. 15% off. All right. Also, the Behance stream. I don't know if you're commenting or not. Are there comments on the Behance stream or are they just being real quiet? Y'all are being real quiet on Behance. That's all right, though. Okay, so what we're doing, we are looking for a surfboard shape. All right, I'm just gonna throw this in there or not. All right, fine, right click, copy image. Paste image, all right, there it goes. Oh, there's a bunch of them now, perfect, okay. There's one, I'm probably overthinking this, but before I commit to it, I just wanna make sure that I like what I'm doing here. I'm gonna copy this image, go in here and we'll paste it. I don't see it. Why don't I see it? There we go. Okay. Okay. So, you know, I knew. <laughs> All right. It looks nothing like what it's supposed to, but let's fix that. Let's fix that. A few ways we could work here. Um, and I think I'm going to do this one down here. It's got a little bit of a thing to it. All right. <clears throat> let's just trace half of it and then we'll flip it around start at the top with my pen tool shift X to flip from a fill to a stroke so I can see what's going on over here Put on option key to snap this back up all right and now I can take this guy. Let's change the color so we can see what we're working with here. Am I still muted? <laughs> you are not muted. Good to know. Yeah. Hi, welcome back to the stream. Thank you. How's things? Oh, you know. Hey, I found I found a surfboard that looks better. Can I see? I mean, I'm working on it. Look at it. I'm trying. Ta-da. It's better. It's better. What do you mean it's better? You say that like no. you want to come try and do this yourself. I would have grabbed a surfboard from the beginning. Because <laughs> I'm no good at design. <laughs> okay. So what I'm doing now, uh, I don't even know where I learned this. I don't even know where I'd find this in the menu, but I've got two shapes here. Okay. So I took one, let's just start over so you can see, cause I was talking. So we got half of a board. I hit Command C to copy it. Command F to paste it right back on top because Illustrator is special. If I hit Command V and I just paste it, it just throws it wherever it feels like. I don't know why. Um, so now I've got two copies here. With the one selected, I'm gonna hit the letter O to get my reflect tool that's over here on the sidebar. And then I can click anywhere and drag and it just reflects the shape. But before I do that, if I click, drag, and then hold down shift, now it's gonna keep it and snap it in like 90 degree or 45 degree angles. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna grab this little point here, this little anchor point, and snap it in place with the other one. And if it's not snapping for you, go to view and make sure your smart guides are turned on. Okay. Now we still have two different shapes though, but I want them to be one united shape. So I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool, letter A over here. I'm gonna highlight that joint. I'm gonna hit Command J 
to join it. I don't even know. It's probably under object. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's in here somewhere. Uh, now, the problem is this bottom is not joined yet. We get real close. But if I highlight it, hit command J, now it's joined. All right, we've got one continuous surfboard shape. Look at that, guys. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just flip it. So right now we've got pink as the stroke. I'm just gonna hit Shift X to flip it so it's a fill, because why not? We're gonna delete whatever this thing was. Okay. And then we might as well, we might as well make this part of the board So let's get the color set up. All right. When I get real focused, I start breathing really heavy into the microphone and I stop talking, so I apologize in advance. I guess that's not an advance because it was already happening, but whatever. All right, that might, that might work. Let's get rid of this reference. Let's bring this up and in. Group it so it all stays together. All right, then we gotta refine some of this. So the tail needs a little bit of, I'm gonna turn my snapping off, my smart guides. So what I did right there, I didn't want, as I was changing this point, I didn't want it to change the rest of my lines here. So I clicked, I just added a couple of anchor points down here. So that way the shape from here down doesn't get messed up by whatever I do here. And I'm just trying to make this better. I'm struggling. All right, let's... Uh, delete it and we'll drag out points from here so it's a nice rounded edge good enough pretty darn close and if this is the profile of the board well it should probably match the height front view. There we go. All right. That is headed the right direction. All right. I'm going to save this as something surfboard. That would make sense. Surfboard one word or two. Oh, that's a gray area. Paddleboard surfboard. I'm going to say I think two. Technically two. So I'm gonna go, we're just gonna say surfboard. Save it, save it, save it. All right, <clears throat> now what we're gonna do, let's see, I wanna bring this into, I think I'm gonna play an illustrator on the iPad for a little bit. So, let's just delete these guys. Turn off my guides. Wow. 
why is it not changing? There we go. We got two surfboards and I saved this as a regular .ai file. So it's not going to round trip to my iPad. What I need to do now is go to file, go to the right document first, file, save as, and we'll throw it into a cloud document, call it surfboard, click save. All right, and now I should be able to jump in with the iPad, get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. When I go back to the home screen, there it is, there's the surfboard. Sure you guys can see everything right i gotta move a couple things on my screen here all right all right so let's go ahead and open up that surfboard document in illustrator on the ipad All right, and let's do, I wanna do a few different versions. Doing some housekeeping here, getting everything all centered and lined up nice. All right, <clears throat> that looks good. I want to save this as a template that I can come back to. So let's see, let's see, let's see. I should be able to go. Well, what we're going to do, I'm going to go back and I'm going to clone it from the home screen because I don't want to screw this up. I like what that, I like that template. So I'm just going to click on these little three dots and duplicate it. I was trying to duplicate the artboard inside, but I've never done that on the iPad. So I don't know how to do it right now. We're learning as we go. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's make something cool. Oh, you know what else I need? I need... The logo but let's let's just start fleshing things out here okay let's see This is where round tripping is cool. So what I can do, go back to the home screen. There's got to be a way, but I don't, I don't know how to do it yet. So uh, on the on the desktop, 
at my libraries and I have these colors that I've been kind of playing around with. This one specifically, color theme eight. <sighs> Let's make a new library. What was this? The Mont no classic. Surf. Classic Surf Go. We'll create that library. And then I'm gonna go back to this other one. I wanna grab this theme that we've been playing with. Right click. I'm gonna move it. Actually, I'm gonna copy it to my Classic Surf Co. library. So now if I jump back over here, Classic Surf Co. I've got the color theme in there. All right, what I, what I don't know, I'm just gonna do it on this canvas real quick because it's gonna be faster for me that way. Let's go back to the home, cloud documents, give it a second to load. What I'm gonna do is just slap some colors in here, and I don't know if they need to be on the artboard or not. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Just for exploring the app purposes, I'm gonna throw this color off the canvas here, and I just wanna see how it syncs up. I'll go ahead and save it, close it. And I wanna see how it syncs up on the iPad. There we go. Perfect, just like I want it to. Okay, cool, so now we got colors to work with. Um, what I don't know, maybe somebody can help me out. I don't know if you can do libraries on an iPad yet. Oh, it's down here. Yep, okay, libraries. So those colors haven't synced quite yet, it doesn't look like. So color theme, okay, so the color theme is not showing up, but maybe if I go can I throw this? No, I can't. Okay. So it won't, it doesn't look like it's seeing the color theme for me. Let's see if I jump into the document again. And this time I'm gonna grab these colors, and throw it right in here. So now it's gonna see it as, just straight up as artwork. So technically it's a shape with the blue color. Which is not necessarily the best way to work. Throw that in there. All right, so now in theory, in theory, if I jump back to the iPad, oh, I don't know, did I forget to change views? I totally did. So you didn't see what I just did. Shoot. Uh, basically what I did is I've got the library window open here and I just grabbed these one at a time, these little color swatches and I just threw them in here and let go. So I added all the color swatches here as shapes and then I grabbed the surfboards and just threw them in there as a shape too, okay? So I'll go ahead and close this document, which will save it. Technically the library should save differently than the document. And then back on the iPad, I jump down here under the little photo icon on the left sidebar, toolbar, whatever, down to libraries, down to classic Surfco. Boom, okay. So it doesn't look like color libraries or color themes sync yet. But I have these shapes, so I could in theory throw the shape in here. I'm just trying to find ways to round trip and pull in assets. Cool, all right, that's gonna work great. So, um, 
Now I gotta figure out a couple other things here. Now I gotta figure out how to mask behind. Oh man, how am I gonna do that? Okay, well, let's start by changing the layer stack. We'll get this close. Okay, and then what I wanna do is mask this behind that shape. Not sure, it should be over here. I did this once before, it was a lot. Make clipping mask. Okay, well that's the wrong way. So let's change Oh, you know what else I could do? Duh. <laughs> Just flip this from a fill to a stroke. Or from a stroke to a fill. Come on. Still hanging out back there? Yeah, for a little bit. Why is it not letting that happen? Oh my goodness. I do this all the time. What am I missing? All right, well. <laughs> All right, well, definition of insanity, right? Doing the same thing over and over and hoping for a different result. But yeah, I'd do it one more time. Just one more time. <sighs> okay. Not sure what's happening or why. Oh, one's a group, one's a path. Okay, but can we group everything? Oh, rose. It's kind of frozen. All right, well, we'll close that. Ooh, it is not happy. All right, glad it wasn't me. No, my iPad. It's right? it's grumpy. 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 <clears throat> but hey, here's Fresco. I started playing around with the brand in here. Yes, it's pretty far behind. Is it? 
Oh yeah, it is. So I know how I want this to work. <laughs> Let's see. Let's copy this guy.
I need a logo in here. So <clears throat> let's jump back. Just document my surfboard copy. All right. Uh, and I need the surfboard co logo. I'm going to throw that in the artwork. That in the artwork. So now in theory, <clears throat> I should be able to jump in to my libraries. Yes. Rose again. Dang. That's all right. <clears throat> New iPad's on the way. Is it? Not quite yet. Is it, Darren? Soon. Soon it'll be here. 
What do you think about that? Oh, um, two seconds to finish this and then All right. It's being dumb. Where'd you go? Yeah, I was gonna show you. Uh Ta-da. Parody. I'm working on getting that trimmed up, but yeah. It's fun. All right. <clears throat> oh, yeah, for sure. So what's up? <clears throat> I see you guys in, on Behance. Uh, is it she thin? I don't know if I said your name right. I see you. Hi. The stream is about like it's a it's about thirty seconds to a minute behind. So anyway, but I see you. All right. So if you're just joining, first of all, thank you for tuning in, <clears throat> having fun with me tonight as we uh, play around. Uh, so what's going on is I am. Well, I'm doing a lot of things. We're bouncing all over the place. So <clears throat> big picture is I launched a new course yesterday and it's about logo design. And one of the projects is we use a random word generator to come up with random words. So the one that I use in the course is actually the Mysterious Energy Coalition. Thank you, Fabian. Thanks for jumping back in. Uh, nice surfboard. I appreciate that. Um, so, so what we're doing how about this right here surfboard working on it uh so what we're doing is we are actually taking these random words creating brands around them and uh having a lot of fun along the way so this this is the artboard i gotta move windows around i got really excited and then i couldn't see what i was doing sorry anyway so these are some random logos i made yesterday and then before that we had a lot of fun with a lot of other crazy stuff. We did some apparel, all kinds of stuff. So today, I decided to change the name from the Classic Wakeboard Company to the Classic Surfboard Company. And the reason why is because I really liked this graphic, but that, my friends, is not a wakeboard. That's a surfboard. Or it could be a paddleboard company, but uh, regardless, I thought it'd be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, Awesome. Fabian, that's, that's awesome. Yes. Do some designing yourself. Uh, so what I'm doing today, what I'm trying to do tonight is, is a couple things. I would probably be able to knock out this project super fast on the desktop version of Illustrator just because I'm so much more comfortable with it. I've just been doing it for years. Uh, but I, but I love, I love the feeling of an Apple pencil in my hand. I love how it feels against the glass as I'm drawing. I love how how um, responsive it is. And so tonight's kind of about me forcing myself to come up. And what's cool about it is like so many things. But when you're out of your element, it forces you to, to, to kind of look at problems in a different way. And so in this case, uh, it took me like it was, I don't know. It might be painful to watch the replay on this. Don't forget. You can speed it up or slow it down. If it's a replay, if it's live, you're stuck with me, but thank you. Uh, my wife's hanging out with us here tonight in the background. Jenna. Oh, she's off. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway. And, uh, and so, yeah, sometimes, this is nice just being able to like see what I can do on an iPad and what can I create and, and how does it force me to think a different way. So that's, that's kind of what we're doing tonight. Uh, and yeah, hopefully it's inspiring to just try it, especially if, um, if you're anything like me, I've, I've been, I wouldn't say in a rut lately, but I've been definitely on the client bandwagon where 
Everything you do is very much like for a specific project or a specific job and you aren't the decision maker. So you're trying to think like the person who's the one that's making the decision wants it to be right. You know what I mean? And so, uh, what's up, Oliver? I see you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. And so this has been a like, perfect case in point, like the colors on this. I didn't have to run it by a committee. I didn't have to like make it match a certain brand because I made up this brand from scratch. Like we came up with random words and, and, we were able to do whatever the heck we wanted to. So if you haven't seen my new course yet on Skillshare, uh, shameless plug, but there's a link below. Uh, now I'm not sure if there's a link, but there should be a link below. <laughs> and uh, there's definitely a Skillshare link below, which will give you 14 days for free, free premium. It just not might not, it might not link to the most current course. So um, I should fix that. Anyway, all that to say, <sighs> That's where, that's how we've gotten like all over the place tonight because uh, we're, we're building brands and we're having fun with it and able to explore and try things and throw things on the canvas and not worry about, am I going to get paid for this project? Because the answer is no, I'm not getting paid for this project. <laughs> I'm just having fun with it. And so I'll, get, I'll post this on my Behance portfolio here soon. Uh, by soon, I mean maybe this week. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, um, yeah. So... If you haven't, I mean, this is a tough one to like follow along with me. I'm not really doing this in a manner that you can follow along. Um, but if you get a minute, try making something just for fun. If it's been a while since you've done that, whether it's painting or picking up a camera and going to do some photography, right? Your phone. I mean, these phones these days are crazy as far as how good of a photo they take. Uh, even if they take a crappy photo. That could be fun too. Bring it into Photoshop and see how far you can, you know, take it and make it crazy. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to keep going here, but that's kind of what we're doing tonight. Hanging out. Good to see everybody in the chat. Thank you for jumping in. Having fun here. I'll keep my eyes on the chat, but I am going to kind of zone out again. See how the music is. Ooh, 3D dimension, yes. So Oliver, I actually did that with um, with the brand for a pop can. Super cool. I don't know if you meant Adobe Dimension or if you just meant 3D in general. Uh, but I love Adobe Dimension, such a cool program. And so here's one that I made the other night. I don't know how fast this will load. We'll give it a second and see if it'll load for me. <clears throat> So I even took this one step further and I don't know if I have a good way to show this tonight. That is not something else. Where's my thing? Oh no. Well, I just made it and it was super cool. Now I got to look and see. <laughs> What's up, Robert? Awesome. Yeah, you are welcome. The low poly stuff. That was fun. Uh, so right now what I'm doing is I'm opening, I'm opening up an app called Arrow. Adobe Arrow. A-E-R-O. It looks kind of like this. That's not going to work. It doesn't. Okay. So then, oh, is there a way that I can show this? I think I can plug this into here. All right. I don't know if this is going to, oh, I think it's going to work. We're going to try it. We're going to try this. Okay. So it's crooked. Does it have to be vertical? Okay. So, so these are the, the cans. Boom. Okay. So now I've got a real can here. And then this is the one that I made.
So I don't know if that's, I hope that's going out to the stream. Yeah, I think it's working. So yeah, so with, so with Adobe Dimension, so I made this brand, I made this can, and you guys can watch everything that I did in the replays. I made, I made the logo in the course uh, that's on Skillshare. Then I brought all of that into live streams on Adobe and I made this pop can, soda can graphic on in, in Adobe Dimension. Then I shared it to my phone in an app called Adobe Arrow and now I can place it in real space. And then what I could do is I could even hit the record button. Uh-oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, record screen and microphone. Okay, I don't, with my screen recording stuff, it might be not working. But anyway, so then you could record whatever you made in real 3D space, and then you could post that video up on your, okay, well, I can't capture the video. Uh, let's see, let's come back to, there we go. Um, yeah, so all that on my phone. So crazy, so crazy. Um, I don't know if this angle, you kind of see what I'm doing. So basically I was holding my phone and the phone scans the surface and then it puts, oh, yeah, I can't quite get to the right angle. There you go. You can kind of see, there's no pop can there, but it shows it there. So you get the point. Uh, anyway super cool stuff. And so all of that to say this entire time, this entire exercise for the last few days has been me, uh, playing around with random brands that I like that I think are cool without somebody else trying to tell me what colors they, they like, <laughs> uh, that's what I'm doing. So uh, thank you for tuning in and for, for being part of the ride. Uh, I enjoy that. Yeah, this stuff is awesome. So, um, that was one more time that was designed originally in Adobe Dimension and Adobe Dimension. I, I barely know anything about it. The walkthrough tutorials are super intuitive. So if you have the Adobe subscription, check it out, download Dimension. Uh, and, and like in five minutes, you'll have really cool stuff. Um, yeah. Augmented reality, AR, super cool stuff. I love it. So I'm going to change that music. It's getting ridiculous. Okay. Uh, so then we did that dimension. Um, what else? What else? What else? Doing surfboard. Oh yeah. That all came up because you were talking about doing 3d stuff. So there you go. Yes. We could make a 3d surfboard probably most likely. Although I'd probably have to find a model for it. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. So now what I'm going to do, uh, after all of that fun stuff is get back into the surfboard design. And what I was doing, uh, I was trying to clip this wave, I've got a lot of layers stacked on top of itself, so it's getting a little confusing for me, especially on an iPad. Um, very cool. Deco, I created your first mock-ups at the age of 13. All right. So, yeah, I'm trying. Um, there's, there's a lot happening here, and I'm not. My brain is starting to struggle to get, to get this to do what I want it to do. That's all right, though. Oh, you know what I could do? So, um, basically I'm using the surfboard shape. I'm just going to stash it over here for a minute so I can see what, and it doesn't have to be, it can be any color you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm using this outline to trim the artwork back. So I've got these layers in here, uh, of these just random shapes. So these little, little angular swooshes or whatever, it's just from the pencil tool. And I've got my smoothing turned way the heck up. So as I draw with it, it just makes a nice, super smooth shape. And then when I come back to the end, I hold it there for a second and then it closes the shape, except for I didn't hold it long enough. That's all these shapes are. Okay. So I've just kind of layered them back and forth. And then because they're going past the surfboard, I'm using just one of these outlines. So I'm just going to drag a copy of this. Hopefully it snaps pretty easy for me. I'm going to drag it all the way to the front stack. Close enough. I think that's going to work. And then I'm going to select both the wave and the board. The board layer needs to be on top. I'm going to come over here to this objects window and I'm going to mask. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. 
So I've just got a bunch of layers stacked on top of each other with just a bunch of masks. This is probably uh, not the, well, I'm trying to think of the handoff. If you actually printed this thing, how they would want it. You'd Well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's a mock-up. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm gonna do is jump into my libraries. So if you're just tuning in, um, I, I threw a bunch of assets in my libraries window from the desktop and you can't see that. There we go. Okay, so in my libraries window, I've got these colors and these little shapes and whatever. So because I threw them into the Adobe libraries, the Creative Cloud will sync with my iPad. So now I can jump back over into here, down into this little photo. There we go, down to libraries. And not everything syncs yet. Uh, color themes don't sync yet. Uh, what am I looking for? Classic Surf Co. All right, so I want this logo thing. All right. There's a few ways we could do this. There's a lot of ways we could do this. Hold down your little modifier button so it doesn't get all... Oh, bummer. I have to make another copy of this. I'm gonna make a copy of the copy so I don't accidentally. And that you, there are probably a lot faster ways to work. I'm still kind of getting my bearings on the iPad. Bring this all the way to the front. And I keep not selecting the right one. Okay. And I'm not even sure if I still have the right one or not. Let's see what happens. It's thinking about it. So what's uh, what all what else is cool about the augmented rea oh my gosh words are hard the augmented reality uh, in Adobe Arrow on your phone or on an iPad is that you can add interactions so you can do things like if and it can be geotagged so let's say you walk into a room then it can trigger an animation so you might have a model that spins um, or or different elements that interact as you walk in through the space it's really really cool. Um, CG trader has a lot of 3d cool, st uh, stuff for free. That is awesome. Oh, oh no. I just messed up the scale of my video. Hopefully there we go. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I'll check it out. There's lots of great three, uh, 3d stuff that's out there for free. All right. <clears throat> so a lot going on here. It's starting to get confusing. There we go. I'm trying to drag that outline to the top stack. All right, now what I want to do <clears throat> That's not how I, I was going to throw it behind and make it more faded, but I kind of like it like that. And then I'm going to bring the logo in again.
Cool. I dig it. That's pretty fun. I could do a lot more with this, but that took a lot of effort <laughs> trying to get it to do what I wanted to do. But hey, we did it. All right, I'm gonna unlock this layer. No, 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 no. I don't want that one locked. Why? Okay. Oh no. It just crashed. Well, hopefully it didn't send me too far back. Dang it. <sighs> that could have been catastrophic. Luckily, so when I was in college, <clears throat> my professors always used to tell me, it uh, doesn't matter if you don't get your stuff done or if your hard drive crashes or anything, your homework still do. But luckily, it's always faster the second time. <laughs> so, which is true. I mean, I'm about to knock this out real quick. I'm going to hit the home button real quick on the top left. So hopefully it forces it to save. And then I'll open it back up. It shouldn't have done that. I just, no, I'm paranoid. Cool. That, I don't know. I think that's really cool looking. So let's see. What else could we do with this? We could, how am I going to bring this into fresco? Let's see. Oh, I can bring it in. Okay, so if I want to import this. Creative Cloud, cameras, uh, files. Let's see. Okay, so if I go back to Illustrator and I just want this surfboard. First of all, I've got to unlock that layer somehow. Okay, we're gonna group all that stuff together. Okay, now I'm gonna try and cut it. I don't know, if, I doubt, I really doubt it'll go from app to app the way I want it to, I'd be really surprised. I don't even see an option to do that. All right. Um, let's see. How did I bring this in? I brought this in as Photoshop. So what we'll do, okay. So we'll go back to Illustrator. We're going to round trip it a different way. Let's go back. Go back. That's going to save. All right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to jump into... Let me think here. All right, let's go up here. There's our board we've been working on. The screen that I have is not color corrected. So it looks so much different than my iPad. All right, um, okay, so here's the board. So I could grab this and it doesn't wrap down the side so I need to if I want if I was okay let's see
So, um, so right now what I want to do is have, sorry, that was probably loud in the microphone. Um, I want this stroke to knock out this back fin. So what I'm going to do is grab this shape, go to object, expand, fill and stroke. So it's going to turn this stroke into a shape. So now I've got the shape of, whoops, the shape of this stroke separated and then the actual fin shape. Now I'm going to do is grab just the stroke shape, shift click this back fin, and then the fastest way is to go to shift M, get my shape builder tool, hold on the option key, and just click and drag to like cut away from it. But what I just did there, well, I got to copy this, shift click this guy, I'm going to go to my pathfinders instead, window. Pathfinder. I'm gonna minus the front, so it's gonna knock out that fin. I'm gonna grab this one, Command F to paste. Excuse me, to paste that shape back in front. Shift click, and then subtract. I know that's kind of tough to see what just happened, but now I can colorize these whatever color I want. And even if it's on a colored background, that fin still looks cut out because it's just those shapes. Anyway, I'm going to erase away this. There we go. Now I got a little fin and a big fin. All right, <clears throat> I've got the boards. Now I can grab these guys, copy them, jump over to Photoshop. Oh man. Paste those. Uh oh. Uh oh. Something's not in the group, right? this okay so as i was nudging this the graphic on the chest was not going with it was being weird and the reason why is because right here this little mask is not linked so the object was moving but the mask was not oh yeah the mask is all messed up so let's see like this Shoot. All right. I'm going to put a guide. Let's see, right there. There's probably a better way to do this. That's all right, though. Oh, shoot. Uh 
That's close. Down. I think we're there. All right. Now I can nudge it without stuff breaking. All right, guys. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. I like it. Now what? What else can we do? I was going to bring it into Fresco. And this is a Photoshop document. So I think I, think I can. Let's see what happens. So, Fresco. Should be this one. I'll give it a second to sink. <clears throat> I'm sinking. I'm sinking. I'm going to rename it actually. Let's call this. It's no longer a wakeboard, it's a surfboard. All right. We'll go back home to my work. Let's see if it sinks. There it is. So cool. This makes me happy, you guys. So, Aram, I see you over on uh, Behance. You probably said hi like 10 minutes ago. But the stream is a little bit slow tonight. Sound problem. Uh oh. All right, guys, checking a couple things here. What's up, Charles? I see you. What's up, Uriel? Thank you so much. What's up, Bruno? Uh, 
All right. Can you guys let me? Oh, uh, let's see. How far behind is this stream? Oh, wow. This stream's really far behind. So I'm just going to text in the chat for a second. Um, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> well, I dig this is super cool. I dig this. Uh, now I'm not sure what to do. I brought it into Fresco to kind of get crazy with it to see what we could do. Thanks, Fabian. Um, what I want to do, I don't know. I don't know if I can do the way these layers came in. Uh, <laughs> you gotta go to work. Yeah, me too. Uh, but I'm staying up late to stream. See you later. Thank you so much. Have an awesome night. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, awesome, Muriel. Over the next week, you'll be redoing the course on Udemy. Thank you. Is that the boot camp one? Uh, my boot camp course needs a little bit of a love and attention because some of the new updates in Photoshop broke a couple things. And so it can be frustrating to follow along. I'll get it fixed. I promised. All right. Um, okay. Here's what I want. Here's what I envisioned as I brought this into what is this? We're in Fresco now. Love Fresco. Super cool stuff. Um, so Fresco, in order to preserve the layers, saved everything in a stack over here. Um, if I turn them all off, it's basically my entire... So look at that. Okay. Interesting. So it sees the canvas size, which is what I had on the computer as that square size but it saved all of, all of the data in the layers. So specifically this um, vector shape, it made, it made the image that big beyond the canvas. Okay. Uh, this was stuff I was playing around with earlier. I was like sketching over the top of it. It was pretty cool. How do I move with the move tool? I was just sketching stuff just I don't know, being a dork, enjoying it, having fun. No rhyme or reason, just doing it because I can. All right, um, done. Okay, so see, yeah, I moved that all the way over here to the left, but it says that it's outside the bounds of the canvas. So it would get clipped off. We don't want it to get clipped off. Oh, that's the tag that didn't go with it. Whoops. Um... Okay, so it's kind of making a mess of things, to be honest. Maybe not the best way to work. Okay, what I wanted to do, I wanted to layer in some cool watercolor stuff behind these layers. So there's got to be a way. Like the surfboard came in. Why Why did that come in differently? What's up? Is it Ek Ekramul or Ekramul on uh, Behance? Sorry, I butchered your name. Um, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> um yeah, so what I'm trying to do, it doesn't want, okay, here's here's the document as I see it on my computer, right? So we can see where the edges are. Also, I can see where this label got messed up. It's not even the right brand anymore. That's all right. Okay, well, I'm not going to mess around with that right now. Um, also, I'm probably screwing stuff up because now I jump back over to the computer. We'll see if it syncs with Fresco. So it works really well with Photoshop from an iPad to the desktop and back. Illustrator, round tripping, works really good, probably the best. But now I'm bringing a Photoshop document I pasted vector artwork from Illustrator into Photoshop on a desktop. 
and then I opened it in Fresco on my iPad. And this is what it did to it. What I, what I want to do so bad, I want to be able to paint right behind this layer, behind the hoodie. Oh, but it's not going to work like that. Let me just, let me just think about the meaning of life here for a second and figure this out. Um, mm, what can I do? But why, why did it bring in this layer? The surfboards. So the surfboards came in on their own. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab everything that has to do with the hoodie. I'm going to right click and you can't see me. There we go. Now you can see me. Sorry. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm just trying to grab everything that's on the hoodie layer. And I'm going to convert it to a smart object. Before I do this, I'm going to go back to my iPad and go back to the home screen. I'm round tripping so much that I'm probably going to start causing problems with things in multiple files, which is true. It's happening already. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to convert the hoodie back on the desktop to a smart object. And that should be everything, even the shadow, but the shadows are going to be weird now because they're not going to be in the multiply blend mode, but whatever. All right. So we're going to call this hoodie. Got the surf shadows, surfboard. That's a smart object. Hoodie's a smart object. Now everything else, in theory, here. Let's just grab all this, convert to a smart object. I'm gonna make this the background. And what I'm hoping happens. All right, now I'm gonna go back. Let's see, we're on the desktop. Let's go back, let's save it, close it. It should save. Let it think about it for a minute. Hmm. Yeah, it's almost my bedtime. Fabian had the right idea. Um, Ural says, yeah, the graphic design bootcamp. I mean, to do the DCC stuff too. What's the DCC stuff? I'm not sure what that is. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. I am, nope, that's not what we're looking for. Oh, we're jumping over to the iPad. Um, Okay, so we're looking for the surfboard mock-up. I think this is the most recent version. Just thinking about it. So close. All right, all right. Okay, those are preserved. Yes. Okay. Perfect. This I mean it's not perfect perfect cuz this is still weird. It goes beyond the canvas. But we're heading in the right direction because now yes. Okay. Now what I can do is what Fresco was good at. I'm going to make a layer behind the surfboard maybe. I hope. Oh no, don't don't freeze. There we go. Okay. Um, let's just experiment with things. This is where it could potentially get really fun. Maybe. There's a strong possibility. I'm going to grab these watercolor brushes. 
the live brushes. I want watercolor. I want watercolor soft wash. Oh my gosh, I've changed between so many apps now I forget which one I'm in and what I'm doing. Huh. All right. So now I hope it works. I hope it works. Okay. Let's go back. So it's not interacting with the background layer like I wish it would. So let's just kind of splash some color down on the canvas for a minute. Darken this color up a little bit. And now, now we should start to see just a hot mess. That's what we're seeing. Just a hot mess. Okay. Um, let me turn off the background layer. this to be filled with white let's see I'm in fresco so I need the paint bucket gotta change the color to white there might be a better way but at this point who knows all right okay this maybe we maybe are headed the right direction So right now I'm just, I'm just kind of playing with the medium here, the medium being fresco and kind of reacquainting myself with how I want this to behave and what I'm even thinking. Uh, my, my original thought behind this was just to have a layer of color just as a texture. Uh, a better way to work on this could be to just do a separate layer that literally is you know, turn everything else off. And then you just got like a layer like this. <clears throat> Actually, I've done this before. Let me go back to the home screen here on Fresco. It's been a while. Maybe. Oh, I just deleted it before the stream. I remember that now. Okay. Uh, anyway, the point is, um, you know, maybe you make something that, okay, wrong brush, watercolor brush. So you make a splash of something and then bring it in as a texture element. All right, so now I'm just gonna delete that layer because I don't want that one. Grab the move tool, slam it down. It's pretty cool. I don't mind that at all. Grab just the water, on the brush. I have kind of a marbly thing going on here. I'm gonna crunch it down again with the move tool. Maybe. Yeah, 
It's easy the first time, now it's stuck behind the controls. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was more difficult than it needed to be. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's cool. Now if I save it, that was in fresco. Jump back over into Photoshop on the desktop. All right, <clears throat> let's see what happens. Might have opened it too soon. Definitely opened it too soon. All right, we'll let that thing for a second. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Hope you're having a good night, enjoying the stream. Let me know what you think. What's up, Alina? What's up, Jenna? My wife, hanging out in the stream. What's up, Hajin? All right. It is almost my bedtime, so we're going to wrap this up here pretty soon. There we go. Now it's now it's happy. That's pretty cool. I love the the watercolor element of this being a water brand. That's a cool texture we could work into a lot of the branding. So what I was thinking, <clears throat> I like this. I'll save it as an option. Um, how do I want to do that? Okay, lots of ways to do this. I'm just gonna do it the easy way for now. Group it. Call it V1, duplicate it, turn the other one off. There, I could do artboard comps, I could do artboards. I could save it as a separate file. I'm just trying to kind of save where my mind is at tonight. So that way tomorrow when I look at it with fresh eyes, I can kind of remember what I was doing with things. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a new feature in Photoshop. So earlier I saved all of, well I didn't save, but I, I created smart objects from all those multiple layers. So now if I go into the properties window, there it is, I can convert to layers. So I can basically break apart the smart object back to what it was before I smashed it all together. Because now I can throw this pixel layer, I can come down here. I hold on the option key and I could mask it inside of there. Whoops, it was already masked apparently. Breaking stuff. I don't know. Just different ways to work. Um, and that's what I love so much right now about being able to bounce around between the apps uh, because they all have their strengths, right? Some of them like Photoshop are pretty much good at everything, but um, you know, being able to jump into Adobe Fresco and get some watercolor, jump into iPad or to Illustrator on the iPad and be able to travel and still be creative or have that Apple Pencil and how it feels on that smooth glass while you're drawing. Uh, and then jump right back into the desktop if you're faster with the keyboard shortcuts like I am. Uh, that's just, I've been doing it for so long, it's really difficult not to have a keyboard. So, um, yeah, it's so much fun being able to round trip all this stuff. And then I showed you guys the Adobe Dimension, uh, you know, turning that design into a 3D object that then you can make it look like it's in sitting on your desk. So lots of really, really cool stuff. I think we're at a good place to call it a night, though. So um, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I think, I think it's time for me to go to bed. So before I do, uh, one more thing I do want to show you. Uh, or do want to plug real quick is 
um, my website. So if, if you enjoyed this and you want to hang out more, I would love to have you join me in the streams and the best way to stay in touch. Well, there's a couple ways. One is wherever you're watching from, just hit the uh, subscribe or the follow button, tap for notifications, tap the little bell. So that way whenever I go live, you guys can stay up to date. And then also on my website at DerekMitchell.com. Uh, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can put in your name and your email and just uh, get on my email newsletter. And you don't have my email and you can email me right back and I'll respond. Uh, so that's a good way to say hi if you want to reach out and say hello or stay in touch. Uh, I also have these tutorials up here. It's a more, uh, more succinct instead of like a two hour stream. It's just, you know, quick focused tutorials. And then I've got these courses as well. So in the courses, they're much more um, precise and I go through specific things to teach you certain things. Uh, yeah, lots and lots of, lots of stuff. So check out the website, DerekMitchell.com. And then also bonus, if you go to DerekMitchell.com slash resources, there's a bunch of resources for graphic designers on that page too. So, all right guys, thank you so much. I will catch you tomorrow. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you learned a lot of valuable information and I appreciate you sticking around to the very end. But before you go, just a couple things I want to remind you. The first is if you haven't already, feel free to like this video if you can, depending on where you're watching from, give it a thumbs up or subscribe or tap the bell or give it a follow if you can. And uh, also maybe even just copy the link up in the browser and share it with a friend or post it to your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but again, just want to say thanks for uh, sticking around and I'd love to continue going live as much as possible and helping you guys out. So the best way that I can help you is by you commenting on the videos below. I read those comments. I engage with them as soon as I can, if I can, when I see them. So if it's live, I'll try and answer you right away. If this is a replay, you can still comment on the video and uh, I go back and I read those. So I just wanted to say, thanks again for watching and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to help you out and hopefully we will see you in the next live and to be sure you don't miss it, like, like this video and subscribe and follow and do the things. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.